Okay, so this is going to be a quick little video. That's absolutely hysterical. Let's see how quick it's really going to be. Okay, so I decided to make a video based on a conversation that I had with a coaching client yesterday and a conversation that I had with another new coaching client yesterday and another coaching client last week. I've done a video about this, but I just want to kind of refresh your memory. So, um, first things first. I talk about all the time about how music is energy. So, I just want to show you, this is something that my husband got, um, and we have it in our bathroom. Um, when he takes a shower, he listens to music, but I only have it in here because I want you to hear that I downloaded like three really cool songs. I'm only going to show you two of them, but that bring energy. And if you listen to some of the meanings behind songs, you got to listen to the words. So like, for example, this song by Thank You, Kristen, for reminding me about this song. Literally, it's, it's called Just Fine by Mary J. Blige. So literally, she's talking about being happy, complimenting yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror, and like life is great. Literally, if you listen to the words of it. I just want to dance right now. Okay, uh, we're not going to listen to the whole song because... See, no time for moping around, no time for negative vibes. Literally, that's what she's talking about. Then there's another song, super cheesy. The girl's got to be like 14 years old, but it's called, I'm trying to fast forward it. It's called Shower, and it's called about dancing in the mirror and singing in the shower. Literally. Singing in the shower. We want to do and that's what I do when I'm in session with my clients and that's what it's all about but the reason why I'm talking about that is because I have a client a coaching client and we were talking about where you work out um, some coaching clients work out at their house some clients work out in the in uh, the gym so either way I say no matter where you are the gym has music you still need an iPod. Your garage, you're in your own house. You could put the radio loud and it's still you still need an iPod. So here is why. Our own voices in our head, which are our conscience, and then a little bit of craziness sometimes, a little bit of negativity, a little bit of getting down on ourselves, way too much in our head. We need to listen to music. Like in my studio, the music is so loud that you can't hear, like, I have to literally walk up to somebody and be like, um, move your hand, because if I say it to them from across the room, they're not going to hear me. That's how loud the music is. And plus, I would never allow anybody to listen to an iPod in session with me. No. So, but for you, if you're on your own doing a workout, um, I recommend using a, an iPod. It is in your head. It is positive energy. Listen to the songs that you download too. Positive energy all in your mind. So if you're doing an exercise that's very hard, which my workouts are super hard, any one of my coaching clients that doesn't come into the studio, any one of my clients, no matter who it is, the workouts are crazy, challenging, creative, none of the traditional stuff. And that's for a point. But they're also really hard that if you don't get in your, get out of your own head and think something positive, it could be defeating. But once you get through it, it's, oh my God, the most rewarding. Holy moly, I would have never thought that I'd be able to do something like that. And then you do it and you feel like a goddamn champion. But the music is so important because literally like last night, I had somebody new and anybody, but even anybody in the studio, every now and then I'll throw out a comment and I'll be like, all right, um, you need to get out of your own head right now. Like literally one of my other clients that's been with me for over a year, I'll be watching her and she's doing something and I'm like, stop, stop it. Get out of your head right now. Stop with the negativity, say something positive and boom, go. And then last night, like I had a new person, I said the same thing, but I said it in a very general sense. I want everybody right now, as you're moving, to say something positive to yourself, compliment yourself. And then I saw like three or four people have a little extra pep in their step. And that new person, as soon as I said that, boom, she started doing the exercise. So that literally, again, back to the music, you're in your own house. 
you're in the gym, you hear too many people's voices, maybe the music isn't exactly your cup of tea, um, it's in your head, you don't have to hear anybody else. I always tell coaching clients also, or anybody for that matter, if you work out in a gym, oh my God, like I keep my hat down so low that I could barely even see where I am, especially when I'm about to go super, super, super heavy, like yesterday I did hack squats, I put my hat down like to here, and like I was like this on the hack squat, and then I went. So... Um, that is so, so, so important. So it's a, a good motivator too. And then anytime, and I've said this in a lot of videos, anytime you're thinking something negative, you need to shut that down and say something positive, whether you believe it or not. So that's the first thing. Then this is something that I've talked about before. So here's the thing. When you're on a journey, uh, you're going to have your low days and your high days. So for example, I had a client that made a mistake. She, I always say, you know, the first time it's a mistake, the second time it's a choice. But I do say to clients that, you know, have that emotional connection to food. If you're blowing it off and you're saying, I don't care what the rules are, which nobody says, I'm going to go and have this even though I know that it's wrong, that you chose to make that same mistake. But if it's a hyper focus because of that emotional connection to food and it's something that you're working through and still getting your coping skills down, then it's not a mistake or a choice. It's just something right now that you're working on. So I, I acknowledge that. But your, for example, this client, so she had an emotional day, she, you know, slipped up and had something not great, and the next day she was feeling like garbage, like beyond terrible, whatever. And what I said to her is I said, you need to try to remember this feeling. You need to remember how terrible you feel. You need to remember how bad this workout feels the next day. You need to remember how tight you feel. Like that needs to be the things that are in your mind that you need to remind yourself about that help just like the book, Awaken the Giant Within, where he talks about linking enough pain and enough pleasure to something to help keep yourself motivated. So the next time you maybe see whatever it was, like it wasn't to this, but let's just say if it was a burrito, and you, next time you see a burrito, you physically feel pain. That's literally what will happen to me. The next time I physically get a little bit of a stomach ache, nothing to like make me sick, but like I would never eat certain foods that would make me sick that I know would affect either my mood, my energy, my creativity, my tightness, my pain in my body. Like those are all the things that I, ha I make sure. So what I encouraged this person to do was I said, make a video. So make a video of how terrible you feel. You don't have to post it on YouTube. You don't have to show anybody. It's on your phone. Nobody ever sees it. And that need, and you literally need to look at yourself and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I ate that. <gasps> I feel like I want to throw up. And remember that feeling. Then I make clients, after they have a bad day, I make them weigh in. Because what most people don't realize is the damage that they do. That's why people, and I don't know if I'm, I can't remember if I made a video about this, but I might as well talk about this. That's why people are like so discouraged sometimes. So like for an example, you have somebody that's starting a program, not with a trainer. They start eating clean and 99.9% .9 of people that think that they eat clean don't really eat as clean as they think that they eat. But whatever. So they're eating clean. They're eating better than they were. So, you know, more power to them. That's great. So they're eating better for five days. Then they justify how great that they did. They lost two pounds, three pounds, whatever they lost. They have a weekend of cheats. Now, I, you have to earn a cheat with me. It's only on a certain day out of the week, and it's only one cheat. And cheats don't make sense. I don't have, I have a lot of my clients that don't really have their cheats because they agree with me. Cheats don't make sense. I'm going to reward myself with diarrhea. Literally, because that's what happens when you eat clean, you get sick from bad food. So I'll give them like a higher fat day or a higher something or like don't think about it and just have like a bigger meal or have carbs at night when I usually say no carbs at night. So whatever. So what they do, what that person does is they justify it and they have a whole weekend of eating bad. They drink on Friday night and Saturday night. They eat terrible for the whole entire weekend. They have no idea the damage that they've done. 
I have seen somebody put on eight pounds in a day. I've seen somebody put on 22 pounds in a weekend because they just went out of control. But most people, they don't realize what they did because they don't weigh themselves in on Monday. Then Monday, they start up again. They get back on track with their clean eating. And then on Saturday, they weigh in and now they're up weight. So let's just say they were 150. They dropped three pounds. Now they're down to 147. Then they have a binge weekend. Then they get back on track on Monday, then they weigh themselves again, and they're 148. Oh my God, I've been doing so good all week. How did I gain a pound? Mm, you probably gained like 10 over the weekend, and you lost nine of them. So that's what most people don't realize. So that's the first thing. But getting back to this whole video thing, you need to remember those feelings. You need to remember the bad, but you also need to remember the good. So I always encourage, so I encouraged a different client that joined my program, feels absolutely great, and then was thrown a curveball at work and had a couple little down days, wasn't feeling very good because the, working super long hours, there were three or four extra days that she was supposed to be off that now she's working. Um, everything worked out because everything has a way of always working out. This person ended up getting a break to do food prep when they normally wouldn't have because they were asked to work extra days. But again, everything, everything always works out. You just have to have faith. But basically what I say is you have to remind yourself about how good you feel. So make your own little motivational video. Oh my God, this is the greatest you felt in 10 years. This is the greatest you felt, period. You need to make your own motivational video and talk to you. And I, I talk about this all the time. We are so much more hard on ourselves than other people are. We might accept and not really accept somebody calling us a name, but yet we call ourselves 20 names throughout the day. So we need to give ourselves that positivity back. But again, let's just say if you were feeling like crap and then you got up and you did cardio and then you're so glad that you did it. I've done that before. I did it like over a year ago and I posted it on this channel where I did it before and after I was feeling like crap. I could barely talk. I think I was wearing, a, I can't even believe I remember this, but I think I was wearing like a yellow thermal. And a before and after, oh my God, I'm so glad I did it. But maybe I, I could have easily convinced myself to go back to bed. But thank goodness that I have you guys. I say, I need you guys more than you have any idea that I possibly could. If I didn't have you guys to motivate me, and I'm so motivated by new clients, by the by, by existing clients that are still killing it every day, by people that are at maintenance, that are people that are just starting, people that are in the middle. Like, it doesn't matter. Every single one of them, there's not one client in my studio or a coaching client that does not inspire me. And there are even some people that are on Facebook or on my YouTube that aren't even clients of mine and they motivate me. So um, you need to remind yourself about the bad so that it's easier to remember the next time it comes up. And then you need to remind yourself about the good more often. Every time you're having a good day, do a little one minute video of yourself and keep that in your phone. And when you're feeling down, go back. There's nothing better than you talking to yourself. You can go watch some motiva motivational video on YouTube. I was talking to my new client last night about that guy that he was, I guess, like a, a war veteran and he was parachuting. And when he landed, like problems with his spine and his legs and the doctors told him he would never walk or run and nobody believed and he gained weight. He was walking on canes and there's this whole motivational video and I've had people post it on my wall. I've posted it on my wall and the beginning picture is him with his walkers and he's super overweight and then the after picture is him upside down in like a yoga pose and then he's sprinting at the camera so like that's super motivating but it's also motivating to give yourself some encouragement and remind yourself why you're doing this and all that other stuff because hearing it from you when you have milestones remind yourself of them write them down, make a vision board maybe the vision board is your actual progress and then it's where you want to get to like the secret talks about a vision board, but you could do it in a different way. So maybe you have like a, a, you screenshot a picture and print it up of you and your video about, oh my God, don't forget about that day that you did, you know, 10 plyo pushups in a row. Acknowledge that. Gee, we, we are so hard on ourselves about all the bad things. We never, and that stuff happens in work all the time. Your boss doesn't compliment you enough, but the second you make one mistake, then they, they're, they're on top of you. 
That's why we need to motivate ourselves just as much. Get motivation. Save a reminder in your phone to watch a motivational video every morning. I have a couple clients that I make them do that, and they have to include it in their notes section of their food logs. So, ha, as I said, not a short video, but you get my point. So, I gotta go eat breakfast, and my son slept over my mother-in-law's. I'm gonna listen to my music this morning that I haven't in a while. Um, but, love you. I do this for you. Mwah!